Hi Floss Tube, welcome to my channel. This is NBC Stitcher. My name's Matt, uh, and this is a YouTube channel all about cross stitch. And depending on how many more of these I do, I may get into some other subjects related. Uh, but this is my very first floss tube. Today is April 18th, 2020, and I have been uh, a stitcher on and off for the last 20 years. I learned as a kid from my aunt. Um, and then I really fell into watching floss tube about October of last year and I don't even know how I got first onto it. I've watched a lot of stuff on YouTube um, over the years but for some reason I found some floss tube video and then it opened up into this whole thing and I just realized oh my god there's all this stuff out there. Um, let me uh, back up a little bit so I wanted to go through uh, today I'm going to give a little introduction about myself and everything uh, that um, made me want to get into doing this as well uh, and then I also am going to be doing a whip parade of all of my current whips and for those of you that uh, may be confused by terminology I'll try to use uh, I'll try to explain it, but a whip is a work in progress, um, and uh, one of the other things I saw on a bunch of other people's first floss tubes is they did the Know Your Needleworker tag, so I've decided to uh, incorporate that. Um, first of all, where do I live? I live in Tulsa, Oklahoma. I've lived here for about a little over five years um, now. And um, I also grew up here, but I moved away for college uh, and some school and stuff and came back after that. Um, I live uh, in Tulsa. Um, I'm originally from Texas, so I haven't really been a whole lot of places. Um, I mean, I've traveled, but I've really only lived Texas, Oklahoma, and a little bit of time in Missouri. Um, and do I have any pets? Yes, I have a dog. His name is Augie. He is a corgi. Um, you will probably see him at some point, but not today because when I started to film this, he decided he wanted to play and so he is in another room so he can do that. Uh, and we can still have this. Uh, but um, how did I get into stitching? Well, I learned as a kid from my aunt. Uh, I would go down to Houston where my aunt uh, lived and I would spend time at my grandmother's house. My aunt lived with her and my aunt was always crafting. She did a lot of um, pointed or needlepoint plastic canvas. Uh, that was the main thing that she did, but she exposed me and my cousin to a lot of different kinds of crafts. Um, I She got me, I think the first thing she ever gave me uh, crafting wise was the latch hook rug kit uh, and I did that and then I did some plastic canvas and I did um, and then I at some point we were at Hobby Lobby and um, they had a clearance sale on all of their cross stitch patterns or a bunch of them kits and I bought one and um, decided to I was going to do it and I worked on it for the rest of the week and then when I went home I don't know what happened to it but um, I it was something that it started that I wanted to continue to do in the future uh, and I would go down there in the summers or spend time at my grandmother's house and um, work on uh, get another cross stitch here and there and work on those kinds of things and um, but it was something that I really enjoyed doing then when I was in college I picked it back up uh, still sticking with the cross stitch kits that I could get at Hobby Lobby or um, I think by that time Michaels really didn't have much in the way of kits anymore um, but my uh, uh, roommate at the time I was gonna make something for her and overestimated how long it would take uh, and so it never got to her and instead it just 
now became something that I eventually finished 10 years later. Uh, but um, you will, I, I have a bunch of stuff that I have done, but I haven't fully finished. And that's one of the things that I plan to do in the future is to kind of go through my box of those. Um, and, but um, as far as how did I get into floss tube and all of this? Well, I, um, about the beginning of last year, I uh, moved into my new house and I was trying to figure out what was I going to decorate with or how was I going to, you know, uh, everything that I was doing. Because I had been living um, with my parents or before that in college uh, and wanted to, and had a bunch of stuff, but not necessarily stuff that went with my new house or went how I wanted to do it. So I stumbled into cross stitch patterns on Etsy which was a whole new world since I had just been doing kits, uh, mostly dimension kits, and I didn't realize that there was all this new kind of stuff that I could do. So I got one of those uh, and did it, and then I have done several other things, and then at some point fell into floss tube, um, into the rabbit hole, uh, and started watching all of this stuff and started to get all sorts of different things. Um, and then not just Etsy patterns, but patterns from, um, you know, cross stitch designers, uh, buying um, lots of different fabric to work on. Um, and it's just been a whole change of everything in the last year and a half. So I really enjoyed it. Um, it's something that I like to do. Um, it, helps to um call i mean it's very soothing and i uh have a stressful job at times and it's something that is very useful to uh calm that down uh and to uh, and i enjoy it i've also enjoyed making things for other people to give away um but besides cross stitch um i don't really have a lot of other hobbies um uh, in that in the kind of maker space or um, crap. I have done um, latch hook uh, in the past, uh, but it's not something that I'm really interested in doing more of at this point. Uh, maybe in the future, I, I enjoyed it, but it's um, it hasn't been calling to me recently. Uh, and there's not really a lot of other kinds of uh, crafting that I would really want to um, get into. I, I don't, um, I really like cross stitch. So that's what I've been doing. As far as non crafting hobbies, um, I enjoy board games, um, and role playing games. I have a group of friends that we try to do board game night. Um, haven't been because of this. Uh, and also some of my friends have now have, have children. And so that can, uh, impact timing and being able to get everybody together. But we, um, that's something I like to do, um, and just spending time with family and friends. Um, I've got one set of grandparents here and, um, some other parts of my family also live here in Tulsa. So we try to do stuff together. Um, but, uh, I do also enjoy gardening. Um, not everything that goes with it, but I do like planting and I do like, uh, flowers and uh, um, figure out how to make something grow. Um, some uh, More often it's indoor stuff than uh, out in my yard, but um, it is something that I enjoy. Uh, favorite movie? I am a pretty big comic book nerd um, and the whole um, all of those kind, Marvel, DC, every, all of those movies have been great. Um, I still, I, I'm, it's very varied though. Like, if you'd asked me this ten years ago, I would have said it's The Dark Knight because um, I think that was just a great movie and it's still something that I like to watch. Um, if, on the other hand, if you're asking what kind of movie, what movie do I like to watch when I'm not? 
feeling good or I, I you know need to pick me up or something it's still legally blonde which is a hilarious movie and I laugh all the time and still watch it when I want something to uh, bring me up a little bit but favorite TV um, I love a lot of um, science fiction fantasy um, TV shows uh, I just finished the new Star Trek sh show on CBS all access uh, Star Trek Picard and then started rewatching the next generation because I am a, um, a nerd in a lot of ways so uh, that's probably right now that's probably my favorite um, it'll probably change in a couple months but um, I really like Star Trek I'm really back into it right now uh, favorite book well I read a lot um, I read a lot for work and so these days uh, I listen to most of my books for pleasure on Audible. Also means I can stitch at the same time, so I enjoy doing that. Uh, most of the things that I listen to are science fiction, fantasy, some young adult stuff when I just want something that's plain and simple and easy to listen to and you don't have to think too much about it. But my favorite author is Brandon Sanderson. Uh, he's a a science fiction fantasy writer. He does have some young adult stuff as well, but he is one of, um, I think, one of the best writers currently writing. And um, I have, I don't know that I've read everything that he's written, but everything that I have read, I have enjoyed. Um, and I will say read, but it's most all of it through audiobook. Um, but it, it is something. I also really like uh, Jim Butcher, who does the Dresden books, um, which is kind of like an urban fantasy series. Um, and um, there's a lot of other science fiction fantasy writers that I enjoy. Um, but it's something that I've always liked. Um, I also uh, listen to podcasts some, and it kind of... I kind of go back and forth. I will be caught up on some of my podcasts, um, like My Favorite Murder or um, uh, Wait, Wait, Don't Tell Me, or you know some of the other things that I listen to. Or I'll start listening to a book and then I'll be stuck in that for several weeks and then I fall behind on everything else. But um, it is, uh, I mean, it's something that I enjoy. I don't have a huge commute time anymore, um, so I do listen to that kind of stuff in the car as well, but uh, most of the time it's either stitching or, um, you know, when I'm doing stuff around the house or something like that. So I try to get through um, at least a book a month, um, which is not that much, but I try to um, do that so that I'm, uh, you know, still learning I guess I don't know uh, but um, favorite music um, I am NOT that big of a music person um, I like music I like a lot of mostly pop and stuff I mean probably if I have to pick somebody that I'm like the most it's probably gonna be like Adele or Lady Gaga or something like that I, I'm it, it's something I like but I'm not often putting it on to just like to listen to music I, I, that's not I will put it on if I need to like concentrate for something um, and work uh, for work or like um, if I need something in the background going on but it's not I'm not a big music focused person and then in my free time when I'm often listening to books I'm not listening to music then so I, I think that's kind of why I'm it's not that big of a priority or a big area for me I like it the only thing I really don't like is like old country or hardcore rap or like death metal or things like that. I don't know, that's just not me but um, I do like classical music um, I grew up playing in uh, the band in high school um, and so I, I like that that's something I will listen to but it's again not that I'm like oh listening to this symphony do this movement or something I like to listen to it but I'm not really um, 
analyzing it the same way I would like a book or um, or even a TV show or something like that, if that makes sense. Um, when I'm stitching, uh, I like listening to books. Uh, I like watching TV. I like watching Floss Tube. Um, it's kind of whatever, watching Netflix, YouTube, something. Um, and yeah. So the next thing that I wanted to do is go over some of my FFOs, which are fully finished objects. Um, and so I did a bunch of stuff throughout last year. And then towards the end of the year, I was really mostly going towards getting stuff for, to give away as Christmas presents. And I gave a lot of those away. So the only three that I have that are here in my house that I recently did, um, I I'm gonna go through now. So the first one is this geometric deer that I, and this was the very first one that I found on Etsy um, that I bought and stitched. Um, it was really fun and easy. Um, I like animals, I like stitching, um, those kinds of things, and, and I like the geometric patterns. Um, you'll see another one in just a little bit. Uh, but this was, um, it's 18 count wide Ada. Um, I, up until the last six months, I'd only ever stitched on Ada, um, and I liked something small. I liked 18 count because it's, you can get a good block of color, and you, instead of it looking like, uh, the coverage that I like is more blocky than really looking like a, an X the same way. Uh, but this is one, um, that I got on Etsy, and... Hold on, let me pull up who it was. This is from Modern Cross Stitch Art. So they, um, I think you can still get it on Etsy, but that's who I got it from. Uh, but it's it was pretty quick. I mean, it was like a weekend. Um, I mean, it wouldn't. It's not that bad. Um, you know, it's only a few colors, and you use the, them. You don't use a whole lot of any one of them. Um, and then I finished this in a hoop, um, where I just put some felt on the back, and I think it's a whip stitch uh, around, and then this just hangs up on the wall. Um, one of the things that I did uh, in the last year, um, a couple of the other gifts that I gave were in the same kind of finishing. Um, it was the first thing I figured out how to actually finish it myself instead of just trying to put it in a frame, um, which I haven't really been uh, ever good at. But um, the next one is another geometric uh, animal. And this is from Stitchy Little Fox, also on Etsy. This is a geometric fox. Um, this is also stitched on 18 count Ada, but this is from Garibaldi Needleworks. Um, I don't remember the exact color of what it is, but it's um, it's like an olive green kind of color to it. And then um, the fox is, uh, it's um, two over one on 18 count. So same kind of, uh, pattern as the other one, uh, but I really enjoyed this. Um, I have a couple other from the same uh, designer that I want to do at some point, um, and so yeah. Oh, and the way I finished this, this is just stretched over a canvas. Um, I found some, uh, you can get pretty inexpensive canvases at Michael's or other craft stores. Um, especially if they're running like a, um, you know, buy one, get one free, or a, they seem to go on sale that way, at least to the Michaels near me, um, and the, you know, with a coupon as well. So they're pretty, I've got a supply of them because I finished a lot of things on, on um, these kinds of uh, um, canvases, and so I have I bought some like multi-packs of them and that kind of stuff, so there's quite a few of them. Uh, that I will be using, um, and I did use several of them for the gifts that I gave out at Christmas. But 
Um, next, we have um, this piece is from uh, Country Magic Stitch, and this is Hoth. It's uh, Welcome to Hoth or Visit Hoth. It's a it's kind of like a retro travel poster for Star Wars places. Um, she, the designer has a bunch of different um, Star Wars uh, and different uh, Lord of the Rings, um, all sorts of different places uh, that are these kinds of um, same kind of concept where it's like a retro post travel poster look to it. Um, it is full coverage as the first full coverage that I ever did. Um, it's also on 18 count white Ada um, and it's, uh, I finished it the same way of stretching it over the canvas. You can see it's um, something that I enjoy doing. I, I'm a, I said Star Trek was my favorite TV show. I really love Star Wars. Um, I grew up uh, reading a bunch of like the, all the, there is a whole universe of Star Wars books and comics and everything that existed uh, long before Disney bought it. Um, and I'm not the biggest fan of what of everything that has come out of Star Wars recently, but on the other hand, my favorite Star Wars movie is Rogue One, um, which would never have happened if Disney didn't buy it. And overall, I like Star Wars, and I think Disney has done better than not having any Star Wars. So I would rather sit through everything else, um, and I do hope it they do well enough that they continue making more movies and more TV shows. Um, the Mandalorian, it was a great show. I really enjoyed that. Um, but this is from The Empire Strikes Back. Hoth is the um, snow planet, uh, ice planet that the rebels are on uh, when the Empire comes to track them down. Uh, so it's really, and this is one of their like um, defensive batteries that tried to shoot at the AT, AT walkers didn't win uh, but that's okay it's really pretty um, and it, it's I like Star Wars and I really liked this color palette um, and I like I mean Hoth is great I don't I'm not particularly interested in visiting it if it was a real place but you know it's not one of those um, this kind of went it goes really well with my living room which is where we are um, you can see this this is the same. Uh, this isn't the wall that it hangs on normally, but this is the kind of area. Um, I have one other, uh, one of these that I'm working on, and I have a few more patterns um, that I'm thinking of doing at some point. Um, but I really have enjoyed this. Um, this took me the longest of anything that I've done recently because it is full coverage. Um, it's about four pages of, ta of a, a pattern, uh, but it's really, it's a nice pattern. So... All right, that's the end of my FFOs. So the next section is my FOs, or finished objects. So this one I finished last night. This is a um, Slytherin uh, bookmark, is what it's going to be, but it's uh, another pattern I got off of Etsy. Um, the designer is Unique Door Sign. Um, and there's, it's really, um, it's set to be like a three kind of, or four panels, and this is one of them. Um, and they have one for each of the Harry Potter houses. Uh, it's, this is something that I plan to use, or to give away, um, at Christmas. Um, I'm not a Slytherin, uh, more power to you, but I have a family member who is, and I think she would like it. Um, I'm a Ravenclaw, uh, but I uh, actually ended up changing this up a little bit because it was uh, originally it's charted with just a black to the end, and then this um, check pattern was on another one of the panels, and I wanted to add something a little bit, uh, combine them, so I moved that over uh, and then moved the um, insignia, the Slytherin crest, up a little bit. Uh, but this was really um, pretty quick. Uh, I didn't spend it, didn't do a whole, but it was easy to do on, um, I got to the point where I was like, okay, this is how it's, uh, I just 
I didn't have to look at the pattern the whole time, which is something that I like, because um, I can focus on what I'm watching on TV, or I can, uh, you know, it's, it's just easier sometimes to be able to do that. Uh, so I like having those kinds of things um, where I can look at it. And this is also on 18 count white Ada, um, and the called for DMC. I didn't do anything fancy on this one. Okay, the next one is another Etsy pattern. Um, this is one that I bought back, um, I actually started this last year. This was one that I was like, uh, I'm gonna do this for me. Uh, but this is for my Christmas decorations. Uh, and then Christmas ended and I didn't need to put it up so I haven't finished it, fully finished it. But this is, uh, I didn't actually get it finished until after New Year's anyway, but I did, um, this was something that I wanted to do. This is from Patterns Cross Stitch, who I have bought several other of these kind of Nordic patterns from that uh, are two colored and they, you know, it's like an animal or something. I did a big squirrel one um, that I gave away to one of my coworkers that she really like squirrels. Um, so I thought she would really like it. And now on that one and this one, I have substituted the color, um, this is charted in green too, but this is the DMC Etoile, um, it's the bright green one, uh, I don't remember the number, but it is, um, can't really see the sparkle, but, and then B5200 is the white, uh, and this is on 32 count Phoenix Lugana, um, this is one of the, not the first thing that I stitched on, um, over two, uh, but one of the, probably the second, um, that I did like that, and I really enjoyed it. I did learn, um, I had to go, uh, take a car trip with my family, um, in January, uh, and I thought, okay, I'll just, this was in a bag, and I'll just take this, and I'll do this in the car. It's a lot easier to stitch on Ada in the car than it is over two, because I kept hitting the wrong hole or going up the wrong spot. And so um, I stitch on a lot of different things, but if I'm ever going to take another trip in the car that I need something to stitch on while we're moving, I'm definitely going to pick something that's on Ada because um, I didn't get a whole lot of progress. Um, and so I ended up just kind of not working on it that much and uh, talking with my family instead, which I think they appreciated. But anyway, uh, this next one, um, actually this has been a while since I finished this, but this was a dimensions kit. Um, I think it's dimensions. I don't know where the kit is, but, um, I bought this, um, I think in the summer of 2013 or maybe a little before that. Um, I was still in school, but I was home on the summer break and I wanted to do some cross stitch but I didn't want to pick up anything that I had already done so I found this um, this hummingbird pattern and did that um, it's you know a lot of back stitch and a lot to it but I really liked it um, I'm not sure how I want to fully finish it um, but it was in the pile with, that I brought with me so you get to see this now um, okay the next one is um, also from Etsy. This is uh, Oh My Stitches Shop, and this is Chinese Panda. So this is um, it was a, I, I like animals, and I like. Um, this kind of like silhouette look of like something else going on. So you, you get the panda, uh, but this is on um, a piece of Be Stitch Me fabric. Uh, this is a 32 count uh, Jobelin that I actually won in a giveaway um, from Brandy. And I really enjoyed it. Um, I think it looks really good and the way it, uh, the kind of phase it goes from the pink down to the more creamy color at the bottom, uh, peachy through the peach phase. I don't 
really know what to call all that but um it's really pretty um I feel like I totally used way too little of the fabric and I don't know but I have some ideas if I want to finish it and so I think I'm gonna definitely display a lot of the fabric um as you can see back on my fox one it, I enjoy like seeing a lot of the fabric when it's something that you can see adds an extra element to it um so that's i mean i mean i could have done something a lot smaller where you just got more of the fox but i liked on this piece um you get a bigger piece of the fabric so it's the fox on the green that you get to see which is something i think i'm going to do with the panda um i think it would be a great um i've even thought maybe if i did it like um No, that doesn't make sense. Uh, but, um, yeah, just do it like this. Uh, but, yeah, or, I know, I was thinking, okay, we're gonna just pretend like that. Okay, I was thinking maybe doing something like this, um, but I, ha I really have no idea. Um, I'm still playing around with it, um, or maybe it would be something about the same size as this fox, um, but like that. Anyway, um, it's definitely something I really liked. Um, so this was something that I started for March Madness um, and I sort of participated, uh, I started to participate in the Steel City Stitchers March Madness event. Um, I made a bracket and did everything. This was on my bracket. Um, it won the bracket but not because the bracket said to win but because this is the one I kept wanting to stitch so I kept stitching on it. Um, March was a weird month and everything happened and then I didn't end up continuing to do everything on it but I did get to a finish uh, which is what I wanted to do anyway so um, I did get it finished during March and um, I think it came out pretty good. Um, it's a little bit harder to see the top of the panda uh, in the video it looks like, but in person you get a better definition of the top of the panda. Um, I may go back in and back stitch it, but I don't know. Um, so, uh, this next one is another pattern that I got from Etsy. Um, and the designer is, uh, Modern Cross Stitch Art. Um, it was the same person that did the, uh, deer that you saw earlier. So this is a geometric seahorse. Um, this is on 32 count white Lugana. Um, this is another one that I, this is not the called for colors. Um, I completely converted it. It's got this like coral white and to darker teal. Um, these are the colors that I have in my bathroom. So I am going to finish it in a hoop like the deer head and it's going to hang in my bathroom. I just haven't gone around to actually doing that part yet. So um, if I did it again, I would probably do it a little differently. So it was the first time I tried to like fully convert something. And I, the pattern really is like three main colors that kind of fade into each other. And I tried to change that into two colors that faded into each other. So it got a lot more blue than the coral. Um, so I may, if I had, I still really like it, um, and I think it will be great. So I'm very happy with it. There's, a, you, when I bought it, it was in a three pack of a couple other patterns. There's like a seashell and a, tor a sea tortoise or turtle, sea turtle, um, that I might do at some point. I don't know if I'll change them or what, how I'll do them, but... Um, I don't think I'm going to put them in the bathroom. Anyway, um, so yeah, so this is an, another one that I recently did in the last, since the beginning of the year. Okay, next is this one. Now this is Alpine from Satsuma Street. Um, you can also buy it on Etsy from her. Um, I do a lot of the PDFs. Um, a lot of times, sometimes I'll print them out, sometimes I do them off of my tablet, but it's something that I like to, um, this is a, a 
designer that I've really enjoyed. Um, this is the first one that I ever did from her, but I really enjoyed it a lot. Um, this is on 32 count toast Lugana from Be Stitch Me. Um, I found her on Etsy at first as well. Uh, one of the first like fabrics that I had bought was hand dyed um, and then have really enjoyed a lot of things that she did. A lot of the fabric that I stitch on is from her. Um, it's really great and she's very easy to order from and to, she'll be very, um, any issues that I've ever had, she's been, which I've only really ever had one where it wasn't quite the way I wanted it to look and she was willing to re-dye it and do everything. So I really um, think she's great. Um, I really love a lot of things that she does. So this is on Toast, which is one of the her neutrals. Um, I'm not a big tan or taupe person. Um, a lot of my house is like blue and white uh, and I don't really have a lot of like kind of like wood color or natural like that but it's usually darker. Um, so like neutrals are not something I generally gravitate towards uh, but I have enjoyed some of like kind of the lighter colors and some of that. I'm kind of getting into that more but this is one I've really enjoyed um, stitching on and I think it's really a great pattern. Um, I uh, will be, I think the way I'm gonna finish it is the, um, as a wall hanging uh, with the, what's that? Uh, it's not an octagon, but the shape that it is, um, that kind of shape there. So I'm excited to do that um, at some point and get that hung up. Um, last one, and we're at 36 minutes and I haven't even shown any of the whips. Okay, so this is my Be Whale and Stitch, uh, well, sorry, this is the first Be Whale and Stitch pattern that I did, um, and it is Be Whale. Um, now, I changed it because, um, so this is the one I commented on um, Just Keep Stitching's um, video two videos ago, um, and I they were going through some of the Be Well and Stitch patterns, and I thought Stephanie said, oh, look, it's a whale, and I looked up, and then I realized it was not a whale, but I said, I explained this in my comment, and then Pam really liked it and made me the Pam's pinned comment of the week and she had found a whale pattern. She had seen one and so she pointed it out and sent it, uh, you know, showed it on the floss tube and everything and I immediately went and got it and figured out what I wanted to do. Um, but it was, um, and the original is, um, doesn't have uh, bees on it. It is the whale and then um, it's be well, but let me find this. Um, bear with. Okay, this is from Ivy House Crafter, is the original person that did this. Um, here's her, sorry for the glare. Um, this is her original pattern. It has the hearts and is the whale and then all that. Um, and so, um, and then I was watching Stitch Roadies and she did um, Not Forgotten Farms uh, Be Calm and had some, as, uh, you know, an urn with flour uh, and then bees around it. Um, I don't have the full pattern uh, with me, but um, I really liked the bees and I thought size-wise they would really fit if I added them into this. So I added one bee going up and one bee coming down, kind of the way it is on the, uh, the thing, and then I just changed it to bee. Um, now I did change the colors on this. Um, I had bought some uh, fancy floss or bougie floss, um, as uh, Nicole Nick Stitches likes to call it, which I really enjoy her. Um, but so I changed out the water as well as the writing. It's the same color. It's a um, Karen Water Lilies silk. Um, I bought some for a project and then ended up changing to something else, but I so it went back into my stash, um, and so I really enjoyed that. Um, this is also, this is a week's, the whale is a week's um, cotton 
uh, week's dye work. Uh, I think it's Blue Bonnet. Um, but yeah, so, oh, and then the spray is also a Blue Heron, which is another week's dye works um, that I had. So I really enjoyed it. This was a pretty quick stitch. Um, planning it out and everything took a little bit, but then doing it, it was about a couple days. Um, so I really liked this. Um, thanks again to Pam and Steph um, and pointing out where I could find the whale and then everything else. Um, it still has the, you know, the tomato, uh, I still put in the tomato uh, pin cushion. So we've still got that. Um, and, but yeah, it's, I have done a couple or I haven't done any others of the Be Well and Stitch. Um, I have a couple planned for, to do some more that I've been kidding up. Um, but I don't have any other current ones that I'm working on. So, next thing. This is the whips. So, this is my oldest whip. It is a dimensions kit. This I got in the summer of 2013. The reason I know is because Amazon has a great way for you to figure out when you ordered your stuff in the past. Um, I bought this on Amazon. Um, and it is the Mighty Samurai uh, Dimensions Gold Collection. Um, and this is where I'm at on it. I haven't worked on this recently, but I was going through my stuff and I saw this and I was like, wow, I actually, I have quite a bit done. Um, and I'm more than halfway through, but I, it's a lot of blends. And this was something that when I was working on it, it was, I was really a, monogamous stitcher that I'm not anymore, thus a whip parade that's going to last more than a minute. Um, but this is one I, I really, this is the biggest one I've ever done, a Dimensions Kit, and I've enjoyed it. Um, I've got one other one that I think I'm going to do at some point. Um, maybe, you'll, you'll see it uh, in the future, but um, this was uh, really nice. It's on 18 count Ivory Ada, it's the Ada that came with the kit. Um, but I liked it. Um, at the time, I was still stitching in a hoop. So I like hoops. I like the tension that you get. I don't like the hoop marks. And I also don't like taking them off the hoop, which is why you get the hoop marks. Uh, but I, so I've got, there's a little one you can barely see over here. Um, that's the only real problem I see with it. But I think I am going to keep working on it. Um, if I restarted it, it'd be a lot, but I don't think I'm gonna do that. I think I'm gonna keep working on it. Um, but that's my oldest whip um, of anything that I'm gonna keep working on. I do have some old ones from when I was a kid that I will show in the future, but they are not um, something that I want to uh, work on anytime soon. So um, the next one is, Uh, this is one that I started, why are you not, okay. Um, this is from S Stitrovia, uh, Winter Deer, um, this is Emma Cogden, uh, from Stitrovia. You can buy it on Etsy, you can also get it in print, I think. I don't know, actually, if you can get it outside of, uh, on Etsy. I haven't seen it in an LNS or anything, but um, I started this. This is one that I saw somebody stitching up and I really liked. Um, I've seen a couple of them. Um, I started it at Christmas time and then after Christmas, I didn't really want to work on anything Christmassy, so I put it down, um, but this is what I have started on it. It's a uh, just kind of the deer. Um, the head of the deer and some of it. Uh, this is a part of a tree right next to it. It's the wrong color, but I'm not going to change it. Um, I like it and it's really close to the actual color that it should be. So I'm just going to leave it. Um, I'm a lot of times I'll fudge it. And if it's, I'll, I'll, I'll frog at times, I'll rip it out, but it's not something I enjoy doing. And especially something like this where there's quite a bit of it. Um, I don't want to take that out. Uh, so We've got that. Um, let's see. Okay, this next one, and these are not really in any particular order. Um, 
but the next one, this is my Long Dog Samplers. Um, so this is Castles in the Air by Long Dog Samplers. And um, this is what I started on for uh, Long Dog Leap Day Sal. Uh, Aaron to Martini Stitcher um, is doing a Sal Long Dog, uh, uh, started on Leap Day. Um, she, I think she also said she's expanding it to leap year. If you want to start something this year, you can stitch on it. Um, but the basic plan is to stitch on a long dog um, with the idea of getting it done by the next leap year or leap day. Um, so stitching on it every 29th. Um, I did start this a little early because I wanted to um, get it, uh, make sure that the colors were working. Uh, so this is on um, 32 count toast linen from Be Stitch Me, uh, and then the floss that I'm using is a Silks for You silk, um, and I don't know the color, but um, I'll try to put that in the description box below. Um, when I talk about, it may not be there initially, but I'll work on getting that in there. Um, and then this is a Grime Guard that I got on uh, Etsy. But I really, also in the last year, I've, I learned about Q-snaps and everything. I've really enjoyed these. I really get good tension um, on them. Uh, and then this is my needle minder. You'll probably see more of them on my other projects. Um, I made these uh, because I like geodes and I like rocks and I saw where you could buy like a pack of just these so I made a bunch of them so you'll see them on different things to try to I mean they're not like not really color coordinated all that much but sort of are because yeah that's me um anyway I really have been enjoying that um I've been stitching on it more than just every 29th um but it's not but I definitely try to focus on it on the 29th um and have really been enjoying that. This next one is kind of um, you gotta you gotta pay attention or you won't see that I actually started anything. Um, but this is from a Russian designer. Um, her Etsy store is Pattern Nod Grav, um, and I do not know how to say her name um, in any kind of way that would be correct. But this is. A picture of what it's gonna look like um, so it's a turtle with succulents on its back um, and I'm just gonna do the turtle on the in the whoops uh, preview uh, something else but um, just trying to do the turtle there at the very beginning or in the center um, she also sells that pattern just by itself now um, at the time when I got it it did not have that um, but this is I've bought several of her patterns. This is the first one I've actually started. And there's a lot of color changes and a lot of, um, what do you call it, uh, backstitching. I think it's going to look great. And I do want to do it, but I don't have a whole lot. So um, I put in like one thread. So this is um, 18 Count Ada. This is also from Garibaldi Needleworks um, that... I think it's like midnight or navy blue. I think it's navy blue. Um, but I, they have some really great um, colors that are like one color with modeling. If that's something that you're looking for instead of like multiple colors, they have some really great um, fabrics. Um, I've stitched most, really just on their Ada, um, this one, and then um, I've done a couple others. So I, I like their stuff. I, I haven't ordered much recently, but. Um, I do like it, um, but yeah, so this was just my center start, but you can see a little bit. That's about it. Um, so that's that one, um, which I need to do some more work on, uh, but yeah, that's yeah. Okay. This next one is um, also from a Etsy designer or Etsy shop that I bought it. Um, and her name is Nikki Pattern on Etsy. And this is, oh. 
This is what it looks like. It's the, from The Mandalorian, uh, the TV show, and it's kind of like this Baby Yoda silhouette with the Mandalorian and the scene from the show. Um, I really like that show, and so I found this pattern, and I um, have been working on it. But this is how far I've gotten a good amount. Um, I did end up uh, going and doing the full ear and then kind of coming back around so I can kind of fill in as I go through. But yeah, it's uh, this is on 18 count navy Ada from Witchelt um, that I bought uh, online. And yeah, it's been pretty good. Um, I like it. And I really... I need to work more on that one. I feel like that's like everything that I want to do. I just need to work more on every pattern. So another, um, most of my stuff is in just like the, um, the bags from Amazon that you can buy that are like, you know, like this. Um, this, I like them. Um, you can fit a Q-snap in them and they're economical. Um, this next one, I couldn't find a picture of the pattern, um, but it's a little, this is what I have so far. This is a little Baby Yoda. It's really obvious, isn't it? Um, no, it's a, um, it's another pattern I got on Etsy, but it didn't have um, the, uh, it doesn't have a picture with it, so I can't really show you the pattern. Uh, and I couldn't pull up the listing anymore um, to take a picture of it like I did with the other ones. Uh, but um, it's, this is on 25 count Lugana. Um, he is sapphire or azure or something. It's blue, um, but I'm doing it one over one. So I intend to do it as, a, as an ornament. And this is kind of like... Um, Oh, the reason why I talked about the bag. So this is a bag. This is my only like fancy project bag. And I did win it in a giveaway from Fortnite Fabrics when they were doing their announcement stream of starting to do fabrics and everything. They um, gave away some uh, fabric and you answered questions and I uh, knew an answer. So I put it in there. It actually was the one about um, where did the Spanish flu originate, um, which was Kansas. And so... I ended up winning it, uh, but yeah, I uh, I like it, and you can. F I, it's great to fit some of my smaller bags or smaller projects on it, like this little Q snap. Um, but yeah, it's this is about how wide it is. It maybe is a little bit wider, but it should fit on there. Um, one over one on twenty five is well, it's you gotta pay attention, but it's not too bad. Um, the the green and white rhino used to live in here until he was done but that's the only fancy one that i have um okay this next one this is the weaver's band sampler weaver's animal band sampler sal from uh for this year um the designer puts it up on their website. Um, I'll link it below, but you can get the pattern, download it from there. Um, it's a free pattern, but I wanted to try, this was, I bought some, uh, the other silks, uh, for you. And then this one, um, and this one has a variegation to it. So it was the first time I was really kind of working with variegated thread and trying to figure out how I wanted to stitch it. Um, still working on it. I'm way behind. This is from January. I'm not done. There's April's out. Um, I have all the patterns, um, but I have not kept up. Um, I probably will though. I really like it. It's a, um, animals, different animals in kind of a band sampler. Uh, this is on 18 count white Ada. Um, I'm using a silks for you for the main part. And then the border is 820 DMC 820, um, which is a great dark blue. Navy color. Okay. Next one. This is currently my only Mirabilia that I have started. This is the Deco Spirits. 
Oh, sorry about that. Uh, this is the Deco Spirits from um, Mirabilia, and it is uh, several um, different air, I don't know, air, fire, water, earth, um, and they're just different. They're kind of like Art Deco-y style. There's no beading on these, um, and so I'm doing them all individually in separate pieces, um, and I have started the air one. You can see um, this is on 32 count white Lugana, um, and this is my needle minder that I won from Brandy at Be Stitch Me. Um, this is a Wonder Woman needle minder that uh, Aaron the Blind Stitcher, Blind Stitcher gave Brandy to give away. Um, but I really like it. I think that Wonder Woman goes well with these lady spirits. So um, I've been working on that. Um, haven't done much with it lately. Okay, next one. This is another Dimensions kit that I started last year. This was going to be a present. I haven't finished it yet, though. But it's a, these hydrangeas. Um, Hydrangea in Bloom is from the Petite collection. Um, and I've got quite a bit of it. Um, I'm almost done. Uh, and then I've got to do back stitching and beading. This is my needle minder. But you can see this is just on the ivory 18 count Ada that came with it. Um, but yeah, I've got quite a bit on it. Um, I'm going to get... Probably, I think one of the things I'm going to try to finish this month, so I have some more space um, in some bags and everything. But yeah, it's uh, intended to be a present, so hopefully I get that done soon. Um, and, okay, this next one, this is the um, Hello Pumpkin Stitch Along from uh, Caterpillar Cross Stitch. You probably have seen this from lots of people. Um, Erin Two Martini Stitcher did it. Um, she just finished it uh, last month um, or at the beginning of this month. Uh, but this is how far I'm at. Um, I'm doing this on 18 count um, Ada from Be Stitch Me. This is in Nova, which was a fabric of the month a couple of months ago, I think. Um, but I've really enjoyed this. Um, I'm trying to do at least one item for every day since I've started it. Um, now obviously it takes a lot less to do a leaf than it does like an owl, uh, but I try to work, put a couple threads in um, and keep, and kind of keeping track. I think if I do that, I'll be done by the fall, which is when I want it to be done anyway. Um, and so that's that one. Okay. The, uh, Let's do this first, okay. This next one, this is one of my first like, bigger patterns from like, I don't, well, I don't know. This is my first ink, ink circles that I've ever done. Um, and this is Castle Walls. Uh, sorry about the glare. Um, but this is by Ink Circles. Um, this is how far I'm at with it. Um, I did change the colors. Uh, this is um, Classic Color Works Mer Mermaid Fin. It's the dark blue uh, outside. And then I'm doing the inside is kind of a lighter blue. Um, this is Weeks Dye Works uh, Union Blue is the inside one. Um, so I, uh, and then this is on 36 count linen from Be Stitch Me in the colorway Earth, which is kind of like a teal and pink. Um, you get a lot of the kind of pink um, earthy kind of feel to it right here, but, um, this is, um, how far I'm at on that. It's one of the ones I started, uh, in the last year, but, okay, next, this one, this is probably one that I'll finish in the next few months, I hope, um, but this is a Doctor Who... Okay, so this is from Stitchy's, Stitch's Lover Shop on Etsy. Um, and I'm not going to show, but you kind of get an idea of what it is. But it's it's the 10th Doctor from Doctor Who. David Tennant played him uh, in the TV show. It's kind of like a silhouette of him. And then it's got the TARDIS here. And it's 
kind of like a nebula look to it. Um, kind of looks like a lot like this fabric. Um, this is also a Bee Stitch Me fabric. This is one of the first ones that I bought from her um, and I really liked it. Um, I think it's 16 count Ada. Uh, I'm doing, I did replace the black with the Etoile. Uh, not so much, I mean, I like the sparkle, but um, I think the Etoile is a lot better at giving good coverage than the regular 310. So uh, sometimes I've, I've put it in. Um, it's also what I'm using in the, the Deco Spirits Ladies um, because it gives a little bit better coverage. Uh, and the, the sparkle's not too much that I think it would, I don't think it'll detract from it in the sense of like, if you're not using a lot of other sparkle or something like that. Anyway, um, okay. There's so much. Okay. Next one, this is another Country Magic Stitch um, pattern. This is to go with my Hoth one. Uh, this is Visit or Welcome to Naboo, which is another planet in Star Wars. Um, it was in episode one, The Phantom Menace. It's where Princess Amidala, or Queen Amidala is from. Um, but this is how far I'm at. Um, got quite a bit of, um, not quite a page, but um, you know, it, it's a lot of blocks of color which is nice. Um, so it's something that I can, you know, if I don't really have to pay attention, I know like, okay, there's nothing I can, this is, this color is just kind of keep going up. There's some like clouds up here or up here at some point, but like I can just do it or I'll outline a section and then fill it in. It makes it a lot easier for me to do it than, um, paying it, looking at the pattern all the time. Um, but that's that one. Okay. Next are my, heaven and earth designs because you know when you fall into this rabbit hole and you're like oh yeah I can do full coverage that's not that much um, and then you decide oh these are giant oh they're so pretty let me do one of those let me do another one okay this is the first one that I started um, and I took a screenshot from it okay so this is called intimate encounter it is um, the, the artist is Sandra Santera. I don't have much done on it because I've restarted it three times or restarted it twice. This is the third time that I've done it. So there's not a whole lot, um, but I switched to doing this on 32 count. I tried some different fabrics and got a little bit, I didn't get super far on any of them, but this is on 32 count easy grid and I'm doing it two over one tent stitch. Um, I'm liking the coverage and I like, um, and I'm using Pattern Keeper to uh, track it and it's working out a lot better. Um, I haven't spent much time on it, but it's, I like it a lot more already compared to the other ones. Next, my next um, Heaven and Earth, the only other one that I have started, um, and probably for now the only other one, is Amy Stewart's Once Upon a Fairy Tale. Um, Lots of people are doing this, um, but it is, uh, I'm doing it on 20, no, 32 count white, no, 25 count, 25 count white Lugana, um, uh, and I've been doing it in diagonals and parking. Um, I have, so the way I stitch is not, the way I make my X's is kind of, it's not the way most people I think do it. So I go, um, yeah, I go top right to bottom left and then top left to bottom right uh, when I'm making my legs. And so because of that, the it makes the most sense to me to start in the bottom uh, right corner uh, to, to kind of go up front. So that's where I have started. Um, and so I have enjoyed this. I've also been using Pattern Keeper app and I use my needle minders as thread gatherers to like keep track of, okay, this one's done or these are still going. And I kind of, I work through the diagonal of what's parked and then I go back and start doing it some more. Um, I have, I like the easy grid. Um, I didn't buy it for this, but um, I do like that because I can kind of like move around a little bit more and easier than just staying in a diagonal. But I do like this. Um, is something that I 
want to keep working on, so I've been enjoying it. Um, but those are the only two Heaven and Earth designs that I have um, been working on. Okay, this is the last one. So this is um, the... This is where I'm at currently. So this is called, this is the Pain Free Crafts Stitch Along. Uh, Pain Free Crafts is a website that operates out of the UK um, and they are doing a stitch along that, uh, it's kind of mystery stitch along, sort of. You can get an idea of what it's gonna look like, but you don't, it's every two weeks. Um, it's every letter of the alphabet um, and then it's got a border and um, which I have covered up because I moved the uh, Q-snap. But you can see more of it if you go look at my Instagram page. There's some more of what this is. But each letter is, uh, you've got like some kind of fantastical or mythical creature. So this first, the A is Anubis. And you'll get to see that. Um, sorry about that. The mailman just got here. And so my dog is barking. Okay, so... Uh, the next one is B for Basilisk, and um, I've just basically started on it. And you, there's quite a bit of back stitching on it, but it really brings it to life, and it's not too much. Um, it's actually not bad at all, uh, but I've enjoyed it. Um, I don't mind back stitching. Uh, I'm doing the letters as I go back, like I'm back stitched Anubis before I moved on. Um, I would not want to do this, stitch all of it, and then go back and back stitch because. That would, I don't think that would work well. But um, the border is also pretty repetitive that like I don't really need to pay attention to the border if I was gonna work on, I, I try to like do this, but then I'm working on pulling the border across um, so that I keep working on the border and not just leave it to the end. Um, but it's also, it's at a point where I know what it is that I don't have to pay attention to the pattern. So it's another thing that I can grab and work on while doing something while watching something on TV easily or as I'm gonna go to sleep um, or something like that. Um, but that's the end of all my whips. Um, this is one, I do wanna say, oh, I got this. So this is on um, 32 count white Joblin. Um, I bought this at uh, Fire Poppies um, and shipped it to me. It was out on one, two, three stitch and I just wanted a big thing of um, white 32 count um, and so I ordered from them she was very helpful um, and even actually I'd originally ordered the Lugana um, and then got a call you know actually our Lugana is not quite the size that it you know if it would normally be um, but uh, it was kind of closer to like an Ada fat half um, and so you know she reached out to me to make sure that the size matter would be an, wouldn't be an issue. And I was like, well, I'd rather go ahead and, but she had this Joblin, so I could easily um, get that instead. And I don't really have a preference between the two. I just, um, for the white, um, they dye up differently, but um, I like working on both of them. But that is the last of my whips. So I didn't count them, um, but there's quite a bit. Um, I don't really work on I don't really have a rotation or work on the same, uh, you know, kind of, I have been working on the Hello Pumpkin to try and like keep that up to date um, based on my own random idea. But, uh, and then working on like the, um, the long dog uh, when I wanted to, uh, you know, for that the on the 29th and everything. Um, the only other thing that I wanted to go over, I do have a little bit of haul that I wanted to uh, bring out. Um, so I mentioned Fire Poppies, which is, um, they're not here in Tulsa, they're in South Carolina. Um, but they've been really great um, as a pretty quick to ship and everything. Um, seen them on uh, Garrett Coffee Stitcher, talked about them. Um, They've been on Fiber Talk. Um, there's a lot of places that they've been recently. You can see them. I list. I heard, uh, and, and they're relatively recently opened brick and mortar store, um, which I thought was really cool. I heard Susan talk about it on Fiber Talk, um, and it was really a great, um, 
episode or podcast. Um, but I, uh, so I, I looked at their website and saw that they had a bunch of stuff that I'm like, oh, well, I could buy some of that. I'm trying to buy some things that I can to support our LNSs um, around and everything. Um, I do have an LNS here in Tulsa, the Silver Needle. Um, I have been there. I've bought quite a few things from there. Um, it's, uh, it's a, they have a lot of stuff. Um, they have a lot of great patterns, a lot of fabric, uh, a lot of threads and everything. So, um, very helpful, very nice every time I've been in there. Um, and then, okay, so haul, um, so I ordered some more stuff from Fire Poppies, um, that came in. And first of all, well, this came with that Joblin, but I'm going to show it here. This is Mirabilia, um, Miss Cherry Blossom by Nora Corbett. Uh, this is another pattern that I like to do at some point. I don't really have any plans to start it anytime soon, but I like some of the, I like a lot of, the Mirabilias are really pretty. Um, I have one that I'm going to be doing in Mania, um, but not this one, um, but they look really nice and I don't like all of them or I wouldn't want to stitch all of them but um, I do like this one I do like I've done several geisha in the past um, and that kind of Japanese aesthetic is something that I like so I picked this one up I think it's really pretty um, I also bought which is a completely different direction but this is a uh, New England reindeer uh, by Liz Matthews or hello from Liz Matthews um, if you watch Stitching with the Sisterlies, they did an interview with Liz uh, that came out in the last couple days. Um, this is one of the ones that Liz re-released from her when she did uh, cross-stitch patterns like 20 years ago. But I really like this. Um, I have some ideas for how I want to do it um, with the colors that I want to use for it. So I, I'm interested to do that. Uh, this These... Um, mandala type patterns. I've got a couple others from like ink cir circles that I'm interested in working on and seeing those. Um, so yeah, and the next one, this is a uh, dragon biscor new by tiny modernist. Um, this is another chart that I picked up from fire poppies. Um, I saw Shelia on the sunshine stitchers do several biscor new. Um, and I thought that those would be really that would be fun to do. Um, I picked up another one, which is the Peacock um, Biscor New, uh, which I think Shelia did. Um, and it's really pretty. Um, I really liked it. So there's another one that I think um, that I have my eye on that I want to get at some point. But um, I don't really have any plans to start any of these anytime soon because I've been working on kitting up stuff for Mania. And... Um, that is what I think I'm going to talk about on my next video. So I've got a whole bunch of stuff. I'm going to try to do 20 new starts in May and try to, this first time I've known about Mania during May. Um, also May is my birthday month, so I am maybe going to do 21 because my birthday falls outside of the first 20 days of May. So um, just a little bit, uh, but yeah, it's, we'll see. Um, I don't know. I've. We'll talk about it next time, but there's 20 things. A lot of them are little things or parts of things that I've made into separate things. Um, I'll talk about that more next time, but it. it I'm a little anxious. Like, that's a lot of stuff, um, but I think it, it'll be. I think it'll be fun. Um, even if it's. I mean, you've already seen that I've done one where I wasn't trying to start a bunch of stuff. Uh, where I just put a thread in. Um, actually, a couple of them. So that may happen again. Um, it's, it wouldn't be unusual for me, I guess. Uh, but that's um, that's my plans for next videos to go through everything from uh, my for my mania plans um, to do all that, and then what I've been stitching on since this one, um, and then my plans for the next week or so are going to be. Um, is to, my plans for this next week are to do, um, finish up working on some of my projects that are kind of close to a finish. So like the hydrangeas, um, I just finished that bookmark yesterday. That was some of the things, uh, maybe I'll work on the Doctor Who project, but trying to get some of those closer to being a finish so that I can not 
feel as weird about having 20 new things when I don't even have, I don't, I don't, didn't count. I don't think that was 20 though. Um, anyway, um, so that's going to be it for me. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm going to try and put some of the information from some of my stuff down below. Um, and I hope, um, uh, if you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to put uh, them down in the comments. Um, love to hear from any of you. Um, and yeah, so uh, till next time. Bye.